Today on Texas Style Cuisine, we're gonna be making sausage. You see we have the meat grinder, stuffer, mixers out. Guys, I've got a great sausage recipe for you. Robert and I are gonna be putting that together, so stick around and see what we have in store for you today. I am Chef Johnny. This is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine, and guys, we are making sausage. I have one of my students here with me, Robert, today. We're making a pork sausage. I'm gonna be using some Uncle Steve's shake, his South Texas Red. Man, and I tasted this, I went, that'll make a good sausage. So we're gonna make a spicy pork sausage for you. As you can see, Robert's cutting our pork butts up into chunks. We're gonna have that 80-20 mix of our, our meat to a fat ratio, which is what we want on sausage. So come in here close, I'll give you a little picture of uh, how he's cutting the meat up, how he's cubing it up. We have our grinding head in the freezer getting cold so that we wanna keep everything cold today. Nothing hot, we don't wanna start rendering fat out until the cooking process, right? So anyways, he's getting our sausage ready. And guys, 20 to 30% fat to lean. It's gonna give you a really good sausage with uh, plenty of moisture and a good mouthfeel. So come in here and let's see how Robert's getting this cut up. What I'm gonna do is, he's finishing this up right now. I'm gonna get the grinding head out of the freezer. Like I said, we want everything nice and cold. It's not hot in the room we're working in. We're gonna weigh out our meat to see how much seasonings go in it. And we're gonna start grinding this up. So you're not gonna see us, but we're gonna weigh the meat and then you're gonna see us start the grinding process. You can see we got the grinder running, folks. Robert is feeding it in there. And uh, we've got a good sized chunk. This, this grinder head works good. Meat products, I like them a lot. I've got Weston grinders. I've got grinders that fit on my KitchenAid for small amounts. And then I've got this big one here. Uh, Robert's gonna be using the plunger to push it down in there. You don't have to push real hard because once you get it to the auger, it'll pull it through. We're gonna do a coarse grind. We're gonna mix in our spices and then we're gonna do it through the coarse grind again. I don't like a, a real fine cut, a cut up sausage. So I like a little texture to it. So that's the direction we're going. And he's gonna get this done. We'll give you some close ups so you can see uh, kind of what it's looking like coming out of the head. And uh, then we'll show you this new mixer I got and how it works. And also remember, I do have an affiliate link for me. You can go down there and order products for these grinding, uh, grinder stuffers and this new mixer. But I'm excited about this. First time to use it. I've, I have hand mixed and had a small hand mixer. So this is going to be a pleasure. It hooks right up to the grinder. So let's get this ground up and then we'll show you the seasonings we're getting in with our South Texas Red and how much we put in. Meat's ground up. We're getting ready to add our water and our seasonings. Going to let Robert tell you about what we're gonna be adding to this sausage to get our flavor in it. All right, so we're gonna be adding just under half a cup of um, sea salt. So we did a half a tablespoon per pound of meat because we had 14 pounds of meat. So that made seven tablespoons worth of sea salt. Then we're gonna go about a full cup of our uh, Uncle Steve's Shake South Texas Red. We're gonna do, we did a cup of that, so that's 16 ounces. That puts you just over um, a tablespoon. Per, per, per pound, pound yeah. for your 14. And then we're gonna take uh, our water here. Two cups of water, so about an ounce. You always wanna be an ounce to two ounces of water uh, in there, no more than two ounces. And we're gonna do uh, two cups to mix with this. And it's it's ice water, right? Yeah, it's gotta keep the meat cold. So we wanna keep it cold. So we got ice, we're gonna go two cups of ice water, stir that in, and then when we put our, our mixer on, uh, that emulsion will just flow better in our, our seasoning. All right, we ready to go? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're gonna start getting this together, let you see how we hook this up. It's our first time, so bear with us, but we're gonna, we're gonna figure out how to do that, then we're gonna get the seasonings in. Okay, these should slide together. I'm gonna bring the grinder a little bit this way. Robert, let's come, this, this thing's heavy, so. Just gonna slide these together, work together pretty good. Robert will tighten it up so they don't come apart. As you can see, it's got leveling feet down here. So you can get it leveled up where it fits together just right. And when we turn our grinder on, it's gonna turn that paddle and we don't have to mix these things ourselves. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get the meat out of the freezer. We've kept it in there to get our meat, keep it nice and cold for our Always, process. always want everything cold. And guys, when I had my smaller mixer, we would sit the whole mixer in there to have it nice and cold also. This one won't fit in the freezer. So what we're gonna do is, is uh, it's just room temperature, but if you have room to get it cold also, 
drop it in your freezer, put it in your refrigerator, and it helps keep that, that coolness in there, all right? So we got our 14 pounds of pork, and we're gonna start putting it in. I'm just gonna drop our meat in. Guys, this is 14 pounds of pork, and I think I'm really gonna like this, this mixer. I bought this from meat the other day, and it's gonna work good. Let's see if we can get all the meat in. It's been nice and cold in our freezer. And it was just a fuzz over probably 14, six ounces, something like that. So I dropped a little bit. That's not gonna hurt anything. Two cups of water. It's gonna go in with our seasonings, right? Yes, sir. Kind of mix them together and it will just help blend in through our sausage. Pour that on that. My kosher salt, I'm just gonna dump it in. Just dropping our coarse uh, sea salt in here. That's in, now we're gonna get in our uh, other seasoning. And here goes in our other, our South Texas red, got a little bit left in the bottom, we'll get that out. Wasn't well, stirred good, but that'll work. It's down in our meat. All right guys, that's in. Gonna give this a mix, go ahead and turn on our grinder, and we'll see what this looks like on the inside and how well it mixes it. That looks like it's mixing up really good, and I promise you guys, this is a whole lot easier than hand mixing it. So now we're gonna season, we're gonna mix this until we can no longer see the seasonings in it. That's how you know when it's been mixed appropriately. Yeah, if you, if you see blocks of seasoning, you know it's not in there. So we're gonna do it till it's all uniform color. So we're gonna put this lid on for safety reasons. We have a, there's a slit cut into it for, so you can be able to pour your seasonings into your mix. Guys, you wouldn't want to get your hand in there with it. It would suck you down in there. It's big, powerful uh, motor, so safety first. Keep the lid on, and you can use that to pour your seasonings in or, or uh, liquids or whatever you're gonna to add to it. Our cheese, we're gonna do half of this regular, half of this with some high heat cheese, and we can use that to pour it in. We're gonna test seasonings right now. So what we're gonna do is, is get our lid off, right? We're gonna get a patty out, take it over on the stove, fry it, see how we like our seasonings, and if we need to adjust them, we will at that time. Always remember this, guys. You can always add, you can't take out. So start with a little bit less, add what you need, and we're fixing to see how the ratio is that we tried so far. Time to empty this out. It does have a, a tilt setting, so kind of pull out here, tip it, and it will lock. So now we should be able to turn on the uh, grinder and it should kind of empty itself out. Turn the grinder on, Robert. Oh, there we go. Seasonings were perfect. We're not gonna adjust them any at all. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna divide this into two seven pound batches. Seven pounds is gonna be regular. Seven pounds is gonna have some high heat cheddar cheese in it. So we're gonna do a cheese version and a regular version. And again, guys, this part here might be good to uh, unplug your grinder so it don't actually get turned on and suck you up in there, right? But let's see if we can get all this out. Okay, so now that we have our meat nice and mixed up, we're gonna run it back to the grinder on a coarse setting just to get it um, nice and ground again for a second time. It, it'll blend it up a little bit better too, but uh, like I was saying, I don't like a real fine sausage, but we're gonna run it through the coarse plates the second time. That's kind of where I like it. So let's hit on, Robert. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate this seven pounds, seven pounds, basically. And seven of it's gonna get some high heat cheese. If you wanted to use a um, low temp cheese, perfectly fine. Uh, you just won't see it after you cook it because that cheese will blend through it, but you still have the flavor. But we're gonna use high, hemp, high temp cheese. So we're gonna divide it into seven pounds. We'll show you how we stuff that. We're gonna put the other seven pounds with the high temp cheese back in the mixer let it mix it good, then we'll stuff it. So let's uh, get this out of the way and get to stuffing. So guys, we've got it going. I'm gonna dump this in and it's one pound. Normally you do one pound for every 10 pounds of meat. So this can be a little extra cheesy cause it's seven pounds plus a pound of cheese. Okay. 
We're gonna start putting our, our natural hog casings on here, guys. You can get artificial. I use the real ones. I get the horn, this is called the horn. We get it wet. I usually have a little bit on here so the sausage when it's coming off will slide around. We're gonna just pick up our uh, casing, open it up, and then it goes on to the horn of our uh, stuffer. And we just start sliding it on here. There we go. So we're going to put this entire casing on there and then we will uh, get ready to go. Okay, to keep it from going out the end, I usually just kind of pull a loop through, push it back through the loop. These guts are kind of slimy, so sometimes they want to pull out. So if you do it that way, you don't have to worry about them pulling out. And we're just going to fill up our uh, stuffer. That's our seven pounds of the South Texas Red without the cheese. So we're going to do seven without, seven with. And our one we're using for the cheese is back in the freezer staying cold. So that's full. Robert will get it back in there and we'll show you how we stuff it. Okay, folks, Robert's going to crank for me. It's going to be kind of a slow, steady pressure. You're going to see air coming out first. So I'm going to take my sausage prick and just put a hole in here. That way the air will come out and it won't try to push the casing off. So keep coming down, Robert. I can feel it coming out. But we're gonna get it down and bring it right about to where the meat, you see the meat fixes start coming out. All right, so here we are, guys. And it's a, uh, not too fast. You wanna kinda keep pressure on the horn and the gut that's on the horn. And it's gonna start coming off. Naturally, it's gonna wanna curl. If you get air, we can use our sausage prick to get it out. But we're gonna fill this up. If you're gonna tie links, you can't have it so tight that you cannot tie a link. This one we're gonna leave whole. I'm gonna make one big spool and we're gonna cook it whole on the pit. So be looking for that video. But let's go, Robert. We're gonna start filling this up. And again, it's a slow, steady pressure with your uh, stuffer. I'm gonna kinda show Robert how to do it and then him and I are gonna switch places. And again, not too awful tight. And I'm gonna give you just kind of a steady pressure. Kind of hold your hand here between it and the one hand on there, one, one hand, hand on here, all okay. right? And what that's gonna do is you can, how tight you hold it against that is how fast it's gonna come off the horn. Okay. And you're just gonna keep rolling here to make the roll, okay? All right. Feel a little bit more than yeah. Right here. You're gonna yeah. You'll get the routine after a second. If you start seeing backing up over the horn, you know you're getting a little bit too much, right? Okay. Curl it up. Keep curling. We've got it done. We're gonna take our prick, Robert. Go through and anywhere you see uh, an air pocket, just give us a little pop. We'll let that air out. There you go. You're not gonna hurt it. Go ahead and you can jab it. That's ready to go. And like I said, we're gonna leave this one whole because I'm gonna put it on the grill, cook it all at one time. Kind of a South African type style that you see people do there. But uh, that's it. So I'm gonna show you how to tie this off. We'll uh, put this into a, a uh, vacuum seal bag until we're ready to cook it up. And now we're gonna do the cheese. So stick around. Also remember, I got a lot of wild game sausage videos. So if you dare, um, wild hog things like that I'll put a link for some of those videos down below uh, first time Robert's ever made sausage he's uh, shot a lot of deer and and uh, but it's the first time he has ever um, actually made the sausage himself they usually have it done right Robert yes sir so they get it done but now he knows how to do it himself we ready to go yes okay we have some meat in the tube it's not gonna hurt you always lose a little bit but I'm just gonna take it off grab it and get enough on here where I can tie it and I just tear it off, push it down. If you have some that's real loose, you can always push a little meat around and go on with that a little tighter and you could work it down in there a little more, right? Just kind of like that. But we go there and so what I'm gonna do here is, is just come in here, get me a good loop. Tie that in. This is gonna go into the refrigerator so that we can vacuum seal it here in a few minutes in a vacuum bag, but here you go, Robert, you wanna show this one off? 
There is seven pounds of uh, fresh pork sausage with our uh, South Texas red on it, right? So we're gonna look at it. Let's mix up the cheese in the other one. Then we'll get it stuffed and we're gonna make it into links. So stick around so you can see how to twist it for links. But usually what I do is I do it about hand width. So I take a hand width and I kind of pinch it, right? Hand width, pinch it. Then I take my sausage and I twist it toward me about three times. Then we come down, hand width, right? Hand width. And this time, instead of going backwards, I'm gonna go forwards. This way they don't untwist themselves. Next one, right, hand length. And again, we haven't pumped these so full that you cannot twist them off without breaking them. So that works pretty good. And then we've got this one with our hole. So we're just gonna tie it right where the break was. And right there, so we've got links of sausage made. So there you have it guys. Uh, South Texas red hot sausage, right? It's got a great taste to it, regular, and the cheese, we're gonna get the rest of these out of here, but uh, just wanted to tell y'all thanks for stopping by Texas style barbecue and cuisine. Had Robert here today giving me a hand, a great, great culinary student, nice young man, that's uh, helping us out a lot with our culinary program. But uh, how'd you like your first? I thought it was really cool. It was really interesting to get to see how it all comes together. A lot of times, um, we're just we're just not used to seeing how um, our food is actually processed and made. So it was a really cool experience. Uh, and, and it really is. And that's the cool thing about making your own sausages. You know what went in there, what preservatives, anything that could be in regular sausages you get. And of course, this is uh, pork butts. But if we were doing it this with wild hog and with deer, definitely organic eating. And, and very healthy food that has not been processed in any way at all uh, or anything added to it. But hey, again, thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Robert and I really do appreciate it. And uh, tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you down the road on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. So long, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.